Hi guys, this is Shannon from Skip to My Life. Today, we'll be throwing a cookie decorating party on a Dollar Tree budget. Let's get going. If you love to live an upscale life on a downsized budget, I am here for you at Skip to My Life. We're gonna start our little cookie party with a very, very simple craft project, and this requires one of the chair covers from Dollar Tree. Dollar Tree makes these chair covers for almost every season as well as birthdays, and I usually just pass them by because they're kind of flimsy, but this time I thought, you know what, this would make a wonderful little addition to my cookie party just as a throw pillow or a decoration. All I did was fill this little chair cover with some old stuffing from a pillow, and then I simply glue gunned that opening closed, paper clipping it as I went. If you wanted to embellish this little pillow with some pom-poms or rickrack or ribbon, you could certainly do that, but sometimes these easy craft projects are the most rewarding and fun. Today I'm gonna to be demonstrating seven different cookies that you can make from supplies you can purchase at Dollar Tree. And the first type of cookie we're gonna make is called an enchanted forest cookie. All you'll need is a package of the ice cream cones, some chocolate candy melts, and whatever embellishment sprinkles you would like. I'm also showing you this fun little spoon that has glitter inside it. I thought that would make a great addition to your cookie party. The candy melts I purchased at Joann's and they were $1.50 a bag. I got three different flavors. I purchased milk chocolate, white chocolate, and then red. And you'll see how I used those together. For my white chocolate tree, I added some cotton candy in the color pink that I purchased at Dollar Tree. And this just adds a little whimsical touch to this white chocolate tree. I thought it turned out really cute. So I made several white chocolate trees, several brown chocolate trees, and then I mixed just two of these red chocolates up with a bunch of white and formed a really fun little pink color of chocolate for my third set of trees. You can embellish these however you like. I chose to add some fun holiday sprinkles, and I do suggest that you go ahead and use the baker's chocolate versus the semi-sweet morsels. You can buy this box of mini moon pies in the flavor of vanilla. They look delicious, and I'll show you what's inside. It's just a sugar cookie outside, more like a graham cracker outside with some marshmallow inside, and then there's a nice little glaze of vanilla over the top. So we're simply gonna dip a corner, a side of that cookie in the pink chocolate and then cover it with some sprinkles. Make sure you keep watching because I'm gonna give you four ideas on how to give COVID friendly cookies if you don't even wanna take these out of the wrapper. Franklin, my dog, was absolutely nuts over this video. He considered it his job to clean up all the crumbs. The third holiday heart cookies we're gonna make with these butterfly cookies you can find at Dollar Tree, and they are a flaky pastry that looks so delicious. We're just gonna tweak these a little bit to make them look fantastic for Christmas. If you're having fun watching this video, don't forget to give me the thumbs up like button. And also, I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. We have so much fun and there's so much more to come in 2021. This cookie could not be simpler. All we did was put a little bit of that red chocolate on top of the cookies and then a few sprinkles. Our fourth cookie is 
made from ginger snap cookies and you can also find these at Dollar Tree. They're a smaller size gingerbread cookie. You can also purchase vanilla frosting at Dollar Tree, but it comes in a smaller container. I did purchase this larger container at my grocery store. And by the way, the cookies I'm featuring in this episode can usually be found year round at Dollar Tree. So you could certainly take some of these ideas and tweak them for Valentine's Day, Easter, or any celebration you're having. I simply squeezed a little bit of that vanilla icing between two of the ginger snap cookies and then I dipped a side of that cookie into the vanilla melted chocolate. So I usually have a question of the day and today's question is if you're a chocolate lover, what is your favorite flavor of chocolate? For me, it's white chocolate. And some people say that's not even chocolate at all, but I find white chocolate so addictive and I just can't get enough of it. So tell me what your favorite flavor of chocolate is. These next cookies I'm calling Santa's favorite. They are an almond sugar cookie, and I found them so fun because when I took them out of the package, it reminded me of Santa's beard, this little starburst of white frosting. I kept it very simple on these cookies. I simply melted down some of the red baker's chocolate and added a cute little red Santa nose to the middle of that cookie. I'm gonna let you in on a little insider secret here and that is that I am completely gluten-free and have been for several years. So I could not taste test these cookies myself. I had to have my husband do it for me. And he says that they all taste delicious. So I hope you all agree. You're gonna have to let me know what you think. If you've run out of time and energy even to decorate these store-bought cookies, I'm gonna give you four adorable packaging ideas that anyone would love to receive for a gift. And all the cookies remain in the package so there's no danger of any germs. I started by placing this cute little zipper bag in the bottom as a surprise for the receiver and it says laugh some more worry less and I thought that was such a fun message for this year then I simply took some of the cookies I'm featuring today and lined them up in that box so it looks really pleasing to the eye I topped it off with these adorable little Santa and snowmen lollipops that you can see through the box. And this rectangular lidded box can be found year round at Dollar Tree. To top it off for a really fun and decorative gift, we're just gonna add some of those sweet Christmas window clings to the outside of that cookie box. enjoying this video don't forget to click the like thumbs up button and I would love to have you subscribe to my channel I have so much in store in 2021 and I would love for you to come along the second cookie packaging idea features one of the larger baskets that Dollar Tree has been carrying lately. They're carrying them in the colors white and black, and you're simply going to stack some of those boxed cookies along with some frosting, some of those fun spoons, and maybe a cute little puzzle or card or game to just top off that little self-made cookie party. For this 
third packaging idea, simply get a mug from Dollar Tree. It doesn't have to be a Christmas mug. And you can add some of the Dollar Tree clings that we featured earlier, and then just simply insert some of the wrapped cookies into the mug that you think this person would love to receive. Make sure you watch this video all the way to the end because I'm going to be demonstrating how to make a Christmas cookie charcuterie board. The fourth cookie packaging idea couldn't be simpler. It's just using that little pouch I showed you before and placing some fun treats inside. You could add a bow, you could add a tag. This would be an excellent stocking stuffer. I have two more cookies to decorate with you. And this one I'm calling Holiday Stripe. It is similar to a fudge stripe cookie. It's a graham cracker center with a chocolate outside. Well, this cookie was the most fun for me to make, but it was also the messiest. And I have to tell you, I did have a little cleanup to do, but it was totally worth it. I simply melted down some of those red baker's chocolates and also some white baker's chocolates and went back and forth creating fun, fun stripes on those cookies. To me, these really look like something you would buy at a high-end bakery, and we paid so much less for them. These last cookies are such a fun surprise. They just were marketed as a coconut cookie, but for some reason, the word nice is written on them, and it couldn't be more appropriate for Christmas. I wanted to dip all four sides of the cookie in the white chocolate and it ended up being harder than I thought. So the best method if you're going to try this is to dip two sides, let the cookie dry in the refrigerator, and then dip the other two sides. Next I just added some sprinkles to those edges. I believe I bought these sprinkles either at Aldi or Dollar Tree at Easter time and I chose to put a little bit of a pastel color scheme in. I thought it made it a little bit more Christmas whimsical. After you've created all these wonderful cookies, you're gonna to wanna to gift them to people. And Dollar Tree really knocked it out of the park this year with their gift boxes. The rectangular paper boxes I'm showing you actually came in a four pack, so they were only 25 cents per box, which is just crazy good value. And then I went ahead and put each type of cookie in a little paper baking cup and sprinkled in and filled in the holes with some of those Hershey's Kisses and the lollipops. Charcuterie trays of all types are the rage this year, and I'm gonna show you how I made a cookie charcuterie tray. This is a tin tray that I had from Ikea. It was under $5, and I simply put cookies of each kind in symmetry on each side of that tray. Each kind of cookie is in its own paper baking cup, so this eliminates the need for people to touch the different cookies. And it also adds a little bit more of a fun look to my cookie charcuterie tray. I had so much fun making this video for you and I even got my nails done in the theme to match. So if you noticed those, those were done just with you in mind and I hope they gave you a little smile for the holidays. Thanks for watching and don't forget, 
Comment below and let me know which idea was your very favorite. And please subscribe so I can get to know you better. Until next time, this is Shannon from Skip to My Life. Make it a great day.